Thank you all for being on tonight. We are so excited to share the information that we have with you this evening. My name is Julie. I will be your host. Uh, just to give you a little quick rundown, um, I'm going to be speaking for about 15 minutes on the importance of, pre of good prenatal nutrition, and then I'm going to throw it to uh, three of my friends, three wonderful women who are going to be sharing their personal stories. So make sure you hang on to the end because they are rock stars and hearing their stories is definitely the most fun part. So if you are on this call tonight, it's because the person who invited you is a part of this amazing community that we call the Healthy Living Revolution. Um, and together, we really, we come together to come alongside of families and individuals and to help them take their health back in ways that are simple, doable, and fun. And obviously our theme for tonight is pregnancy. It's a and prenatal nutrition, it's a um, topic that many of us are really passionate about. So uh, I'm just, I thank you for taking time out of your evening to be here tonight and to be educated. So I'm gonna start, oh, I wasn't ready. I'm gonna start by reading this amazing quote from Dr. Mitra Ray from her document, Eating for Two. She says, when sperm meets eggs, egg, a miraculous series of biochemical events begin. The DNA of the chromosome of the original cell divides only 50 times, but results in approximately, approximately 100 trillion cells, a number that is greater than all the stars in the Milky Way galaxy. Furthermore, it is estimated that each of these cells has over 6 trillion biochemical reactions per second, and each cell also knows what the, all the other cells are doing through the body's own infinite intelligence. So I think that that quote is amazing, and I really just want to take a moment to respect what our bodies have done, or what our bodies are doing, or what our bodies have done, or what maybe you'll be hopeful that you're gonna to get to do soon. Um, pregnancy is an amazing experience, and our bodies are working so hard during this process. But just know, during everything I just read that Dr. Mitra Ray talked about, growing that life really is number one priority, and your body, you, that baby will pull whatever it needs from your body. So just know you are that main source and you can definitely be depleted. That baby will take whatever they need. So here is the truth. This is what's really going on with pregnancy in the United States and it really is scary. Um, one out of every nine infants is born prematurely in the United States. We have the worst preterm rates well, our preterm rates are worse than any other Western European country, and we compare with Honduras, East Timor, and Turkey. The preterm rate in the U.S. has risen 30% since 1981, and during that same time, there has been a rise in obesity, diabetes, and high blood pressure. So it seems that there is quite a correlation between diet and this, our preterm rates that are really scary. There was a study that was conducted in Norway, and the group of mothers who consume the Western diet, which is sweet and salty snack foods, white bread and processed meats, they had the highest risk of preterm delivery. And then we're really living in a more toxic world today than ever, and we're all dealing with that. But if you're pregnant, you know, I mean, pregnant women and babies are really paying the price for it as well. There are toxins from plastics that are present in 99% of pregnant women, and 232 toxic chemicals were found in umbilical cord blood from U.S. newborns. So if we're, if we're talking about the fact that there seems to be a link in diet and preterm risk, um, let's talk about what we need to be eating during pregnancy. So the good news is that what you would consider healthy before you were pregnant is the same thing that you need to be eating when you're pregnant. Hopefully you're pretty much aware that you need a diet of real whole foods, um, fruits, vegetables, berries, and grains. If you're eating any foods out of boxes or bags, you really want, are hoping that it has maybe only one ingredient or no less than five and all ingredients that you can pronounce. You want to be eating real food. You know, we are what we eat and our baby is what our baby, what, what we eat. Um, so all of that good nutrition is supporting so much that our body is doing. The growth of our placenta, the increase in blood volume, the increase in cardiac output, increase in fluid levels, hormonal changes, changes to breast tissue, and the alterations to lung, kidney, urinary, and reproductive functions. And if we have really good nutrition, all of these changes are going to be as good as possible. And if we have poor nutrition, some of these changes that are going through, our, during, during, or that are going through in our body during pregnancy won't be as good. So it's really interesting to know the average person should have 17 to 13 fruits and vegetables a day, but when you're pregnant, they recommend upwards of 16. And I know I struggle to even eat five to seven normally, and then when you're pregnant, it's even harder to get it in. But just know, 
I think it's, it's important to know why it's so important that we're getting these, um, these fruits and vegetables in and what they're doing in our body. So the good news is that um, according to a study published in the British Medical Journal, a diet rich in fruits and vegetables is found to reduce the risk of preterm delivery by 15%. And this is my favorite part. In that same study, they found that in increasing your intake of healthy fruits, so fruits, vegetables, and whole grains was more beneficial to you and your baby than excluding the less healthy foods. And I love this stat because I learned a lot about food during my um, first pregnancy. So during my second, I thought I was going to be that woman that had the cleanest diet in the world. And I totally forgot how intense cravings can be. And I was craving foods that I knew that didn't fit the bill of what I just said, less than five ingredients and all ingredients that I can pronounce. So um, just know really eating more of the good shows a, more, shows a higher benefit for you and your baby than excluding the bad. So we know we're not about being perfect, but we're about helping you get more of the good. Um, this is a really interesting study that was done in 2016 and published in the, in the Lancet. And they found that prenatal fruit consumption is correlated with superior cognition in the mother's one-year-old infants. Though there was no effect if the fruit was, fed only, was only fed to the child during the year after birth. This is kind of a confusing study to word. But basically they found that the fruit that was consumed by the mother while the baby was in utero was direct, directly infect, affecting the baby's cognition, whereas the fruit that was fed to the baby within that first year of life was not having that same effect on cognition. Isn't that amazing? That's how powerful what we're eating is during pregnancy. Um, and then a study in the American Journal of Obstetrics and Gynecolo Gynecology calculated that for each week a baby stayed in the womb between 32 and 39 weeks, there is a 23% decrease in problems such as respiratory distress, jaundice, seizures, temperature instability, and brain hemorrhages. So we know that these later weeks mean are such a big deal. And we do know that diet is contributing to the fact that our babies are, are coming out early. So diet needs to be a center um, of, your, of your prenatal journey. And although we will have cravings, we need to be talking more about how we're nourishing our bodies and not how we're, you know, oh, I'm eating for two, uh, but really what we can do to make us make ourselves and our babies as healthy as possible. So if you're on this call tonight, the person that invited you at some point was lucky enough to be introduced to this amazing product called Juice Plus. And I'm going to take a second to tell you how it came to be because I think it's really important. Um, our product was developed over 30 years ago by a doctor. His name was Dr. Smokey Santillo, and he was a holistic practitioner. He helped cancer patients juice, and um, his dad was diagnosed with lymphoma, and he was only given three weeks to live. So Dr. Smokey decided that he needed to find a way to make his juice more powerful. So instead of juicing his fruits and vegetables, he was going to take the whole thing with the pits, the peels, the rinds, the seeds, where much of the nutrition is, even the leaves from the vine whenever possible, and blend it in like a massive Vitamix. It, re it resulted in a slurry, and then he dehydrated that slurry at a cold temperature to preserve the nutrients, and he had a powdered produce, and he just pumped his dad full of this powder, and he ended up living for six more years, and not only did he live, but he thrived. He had a great quality of life. So it was at that time that Dr. Smokey knew that he was onto something. And our product hit the market 25 years ago. So I want to take a second before I tell you what makes our product so unique for you just to look at all of these different colors. And all of these different colors do different things in our bodies and help to nourish us during pregnancy. I mean, imagining, imagine if you could get this variety in color every single day, this consistency into your body and your baby every single day. I've never even eaten a bilberry and it's on this list, um, but I get it every day, my kids get it every day, and then when they were in utero, they did as well. So I'm so, so thankful for this simple change because I definitely wasn't eating 16 plus fruits and vegetables every day when I was pregnant. I probably wasn't even eating seven. So this helped to bridge that gap. So what makes this product so unique? Well, my favorite part is that this is food. This is not a vitamin or a supplement. We have a nutrition label. Um, because we are food, there's no warning. There's no risk of overdose. If you can eat a salad, you can eat Juice Plus. And that makes sense to me because it's full of that phytonutrition that we need, um, not isolated vitamins. It's non-GMO, dairy-free, and gluten-free. It's NSF certified, which is a third party that verifies that what we say is in our product is and nothing more. It's the highest level of certification you can receive, and we've had it for over 20 years. 
It's also what ensures that our product is free of any herbicides, pesticides, fungicides, yeast, mold, and bacteria. And this is incredibly important if you choose to nourish your body um, during pregnancy with this. This is why you can feel very confident. And then finally, when our product hit the market over you know, 25 years ago, people had unique experiences. And so they decided they wanted to see what this product was doing on human beings with blood drawn. And today we are the most researched whole food product in the world with 38 published studies and nine underway. We've been researched at Brigham Young, Yale, Vanderbilt, MD Anderson Cancer Center, some of the most prestigious facilities and in other countries as well. And so with our um, focus being on pregnancy tonight, I'm gonna share with you an amazing study done by Dr. Odom. He was an OBGYN out of Mississippi, and he shared Juice Plus with his pregnant patients. And he decided to do a retrospective study, so he looked back on his patients, 178 of his, his patients, compared to 178 of his partner's patients. His patients took um, Juice Plus and a prenatal, and his partner's patients just took a prenatal. And this is what he found. Um, delivery prior to 37 weeks, Dr. Odom's Juice Plus group had zero, and the partner's group had 20%. Preeclampsia, the Juice Plus group had 0%, and the partner's group had 21%. Birth weight less than five and a half pounds, the Juice Plus group had 1%, and the other group had 12%. Admission, admission to the NICU, the Juice Plus group had 0%, and the partner's group had 10%. And respiratory distress system uh, syndrome, the Juice Plus group had 0%, and the partner's group had 8%. And I'm not here to tell you that if you take Juice Plus, I'm certain that you won't have any of these, these um, things listed on this chart. But what I am here to tell you is that I know that your body will be better fuel to handle what may come up during pregnancy, as well as your baby. Maybe if they did come early, um, that baby would be better fueled. And so I, this study is amazing. I could, end the, I could end the whole presentation right here. Um, but just know there are many OBGYNs out there recommending this product to their patients. So I wanna take a second to talk about what makes this product different than a prenatal. So we knew that, you know, years ago, we knew that we weren't eating enough leafy greens. Pregnant women were not getting enough folate that is present in leafy greens. Um, and so we decided to bridge the gap with a synthetic man-made version called folic acid. Um, and so that's where the prenatal came to be. And I was shocked when I learned that there is actually no research showing that prenatals are absorbed and are doing good in our body or for our babies. I had no idea that was the case. Um, so what, what you could get with Juice Plus, and I'm not telling you not to take your prenatal, do whatever you'd like, but what you get with Juice Plus is you get the folate. Um, you get what we really are deficient in and what we need, not the man-made synthetic version. Um, and you're getting it along with all of the other thousands of ingredients that are available in whole food. For an example, an apple has over 20,000 different nutrients. A uh, blueberry has over 25,000 and an avocado has over 14,000. And that's just what we found today. Folate is one of those over 20,000. So I can ensure you as a pregnant woman, woman, it's not just folate that we need. We need much more of all of those thousands of ingredients and that's what you're gonna get. So I want you to consider that your body is like a car and car, a car needs oil and gas and a high quality of each to run well and your body is the same way. It needs micronutrition and macronutrition. So you know you can delay an oil change or get a low quality oil and as long as you have gas in your tank, your car is still going to run but there are problems that are brewing and that's what's going on in our culture today is that that micronutrition is our oil. That micronutrition is our cellular health. It's those thousands of ingredients that are present in that apple, and we are severely deficient. Pregnant or not, we are severely deficient in high-quality micronutrition in our country. Macronutrition is the gas. It's proteins, fats, and carbs, and we have an abundance of this in our country, but very little of it is of high quality, and that's where our Juice Plus Complete Shakes come in. They come in chocolate and vanilla, and they are delicious, but also such an amazing solution during pregnancy. They're low glycemic, so they stabilize your blood sugar, which with more and more women getting gestational diabetes, this is important that you're taking something that can help keep your blood sugar stable. The number one thing my friends tell me about these shakes is that they keep them full. And it's not because it's full of a ton of protein, it's because it keeps your blood sugar stable. They're vegan and non-GMO, gluten and dairy-free, plant-based protein, and full of 
awesome prebiotic fibers and oligosaccharides. Those oligosaccharides have been shown to help um, heal the lining of our gut. And so in a time when so many people are dealing with leaky gut, these oligosaccharides are very, very important. And this prebiotic fiber, which is feeding your gut well, is so important. Whenever you deliver your baby vaginally, your baby inherits your gut bacteria. And your gut bacteria is fed, your, maybe you've heard of probiotics, which is good gut bacteria, it's fed by prebiotic foods. Prebiotic foods are fruits and vegetables, they're plant matter. So what if you could take something and eat a diet that's rich in fruits and vegetables, but also take something that is feeding your good guys and causing them to increase, and your baby, when they were delivered, would get this wonderful gut health, which means an improved immune system. That's just so important. I didn't plan on telling you that part, but I think it's, it's really good to know. So the shakes, you're going to get hungry when you're pregnant, and this is a great way to get that, that gas. It's going to give you that energy, but to know that you're giving your body something good that's full of plants. And then finally, our, product, um, our Juice Plus Omega Blend product came out a little over a year ago. And we know that omega fatty acids are known to support heart, brain, joints, skin, and eyes. Many people are bridging the gap with a fish oil. I know when I was pregnant with my first, I was given a prenatal with DHA from fish in it. Um, but we're learning so much more about the toxicity that we're consuming. We talked earlier about the toxicity in, in umbilical cord blood. We're learning more and more about the toxicity that we're consuming, um, even via fish oils. So we decided to skip the fish and go straight to the algae, which is where the fish get their omegas from. So this is a totally plant-based omega, and it's a full spectrum. It's omega-3, 5, 6, 7, and 9. We believe we need them all in a high quality. So it's much more pure and sustainable. Um, but my favorite part is that it's cold pressed. So what took us so long to come out with our Omega product is the cold pressed encapsulation process. Again, many oil uh, supplements are fully encapsulated. And when they are encapsulated like that, they have to be heated up. And when they're heated to a certain temperature, the oil becomes rancid. So I have no doubt that with my first pregnancy, I was taking a rancid oil supplement every day. Um, but what I love about the Juice Plus Omega is that because it's cold pressed, I know that those oils have maintained their quality. So I'm going to sum this part up with um, this quote from Dr. Richard Du Bois. He was known. He is known. He has been America's top doc, and he was head of infectious disease in Atlanta, Georgia. And he was one of the first of now how, thousands of healthcare professionals to recommend Juice Plus, along with so many OBGYNs. And he says there is nothing available anywhere else in the world, with or without a prescription, that has been clinically proven to do what Juice Plus does in the human body. And so I just am, am so honored that I have the opportunity to share this amazing and simple solution with you tonight during a time when I believe um, nutrition is most important during, during prenatal care. So at this time, I'm gonna ask my friend Casey to unmute herself and just share with us why she decided, or why she's using Juice Plus during her pregnancy. Casey is pregnant with her course. Um, and she is due at the end of November. She, so she is right there at the end. So go ahead, take it away, Casey. Awesome. Thanks, Julie. So yeah, like she said, I am due the 29th. So just right around the corner. And it's my first pregnancy, first baby, and we're so excited. Um, and this information, every time I hear it, like Julie said, it's her favorite call. It's mine too, because it blows my mind every time. And I was totally <laughs> that person who thought like, I am going to eat so healthy and so clean whenever I get pregnant. Like that has to be the number one motivation, right? But oh my gosh, it doesn't happen like that. <laughs> Maybe some people do. Um, and I definitely, not to say that I don't make an effort, of course I do, but I've, it did not work out that way and I'm so not perfect and that's why I'm so thankful for this really simple solution that has given me <clears throat> the greatest just peace of mind, you know, through this whole thing. Um, and just to touch on a couple things that Julie had mentioned, you know, all of the changes and everything going on in our body when we're pregnant. All of those things that happen, um, they they can function well. Like it doesn't have to be this, you know, um, I don't know, condition. Like pregnancy as a condition where all of these things like 
happen to you. Um, our bodies were literally made to do this and <laughs> built to do this. And when we give it the right things, it knows what to do and it will perform really well. And that's just been the case with my pregnancy. And just to share my own experience, I know everyone is different and everyone has a different experience, but mine has been so smooth and so easy. <laughs> and I felt so great this entire time. Um, and I don't say that to like ever push that in someone's face um, who has a different experience, but I do truly, truly believe it's because of my foundation with Juice Plus for the past 15 years. So, you know, my mom got our family started when I was 11. So over half my life, I have been flooding my body with this nutrition. And I really do believe that that has made the biggest difference um, through this entire pregnancy. And just to specifically touch on the omegas a little bit, um, you know, like Julie said, those didn't come around until the last couple of years. And um, that I believe has made the biggest difference like hormonally in my pregnancy. And it's just been like a really steady, <laughs> um, a steady thing. Like I haven't had the crazy like highs and lows and the crazy mood swings. And, you know, of course I have my moments just like everyone else. Um, but it's just insane because mom brain like is a real thing. And it's because your baby is sucking every bit of nutrition and all of those omegas from your brain stores, literally taking those out of your brain. Um, if you're not, you know, feeding yourself and your body enough, so it can literally deplete, you know, your omega stores from your brain and can take up to 10 years to replenish those omega stores after baby. So it's a very real thing. And that's why I'm so thankful um, for these omegas because I believe in addition to like the trio fruit and vegetable capsules, um, the omegas have just made a huge, huge difference. And um, it's crazy. Like just in these last couple of weeks, my nails have been breaking and peeling like crazy, which they never have like my whole life. Um, and I just know it's because as this baby is like getting ready, it's getting bigger. Like the brain is, you know, developing more and more. It's sucking all of these omegas out of me. You know, I'm like taking all the omegas I can. Um, so it's just a crazy thing. Like you can literally see that and know that like outwardly. Um, but anyway, that's just been my experience. I don't want to take up any more time. So I don't know if I'm going to pass it to Julie or Allie. No, that's great. Thank you so much. And I'm so glad you included that about the omegas because I forgot to say that. So thank you so much for sharing your heart. I love watching your journey. Yeah, this time we're going to throw it to Ali Vitruba. She is a, cardiac, a pediatric cardiac ICU nurse and a mom of three. And we'd love for her just to share her story about why she added Juice Plus um, and used it during her pregnancies. Take it away, Ali. Hey guys. Like Julie said, I'm Ali. I have a five-year-old, a three-year-old, and then my newest baby is two months old. And so I have just kind of come out the other side of my last pregnancy. And I had a slightly different experience with Ben Casey. With my first son, um, I had hyperemesis. And I don't know if any of you have had the pleasure of dealing with that, but I threw up between 30 and 40 times a day for the first 20 weeks of my pregnancy. My middle pregnancy was my uh, least pukey. And then she was, she was um, somewhere in the middle of the three. So I have been a huge proponent of Juice Plus since I truly understood it, but my backstory didn't get it. We didn't know. I am a pediatric cardiac ICU nurse, but I didn't really pay attention to food until I got pregnant with my first son. Now, at that time, I had already been taking Juice Plus because my now mother-in-law started sending it to me in New York when I first met my husband because she said, if this girl is the future mother of my grandbabies, she better be taking Juice Plus. Now, at the time, I thought nothing of it. I did not, well, quite honestly, I didn't know she said that or I probably wouldn't have stuck around all that long. But um, I, I, I didn't know what I didn't know. And when I got pregnant with him, I realized that I knew a lot about medicine and a lot about illness, but not a whole lot about health and how to 
fuel my body and maintain my body for a really healthy pregnancy. And so when I realized how little knowledge I had in that area, I was, I was out of my depth and that freaked me out a little bit. So I poured in full full force into trying to understand what I needed to do for my body. And over and over and over time and time again, what you need to be doing for your body is feeding it really, really well, feeding it really high quality food sources. And those food sources are fruits, vegetables, some nuts, all these things that are going to have really high quality um, nutrients, but then sleeping and resting and just being present in it. But um, I don't even know where I'm going with where I was going with this. I was taking it somewhere specific. But I know that in my first pregnancy with all of my hyperemesis, I was not eating. I was not eating anything of quality. I was eating food-like products, but not so much food. I was eating like cereal and bread and bagels because that's all I could stomach. Um, So I really don't know how my body would have grown this little person if it weren't for Juice Plus. Now, fast forward five years, and I think my biggest thing that I've noticed is postpartum. Now, I've had the first halves of my pregnancy are pukey, but beyond that, they're really, really awesome. The second half of my pregnancy, I love. I love second, third trimester. I feel really great. Two of my three kids have gone to 41 and 42 weeks. So I don't mind. I don't mind the end of pregnancy. And um, But really, it's the recovery process that I have really been grateful for Juice Plus in. To be able to know in this time where your body has run the marathon, you've delivered that baby, you've done all the things and now everything has to kind of settle back out. And that is a process. And there's a lot of healing that has to go on in that and a lot of cell rebuilding. And then you're nourishing this baby with your body after doing all of this. It's a lot. It's a lot to take on. And I hear all this, uh, I hear about the mind numbing, bone chilling exhaustion. And that is what I have not been experiencing. None of my three kids have I felt that way. Um, and I don't think that's just me. I think that is the benefit of fueling your body really well so that it can handle all that's being thrown at it during that time. All right, Julie, I'm going to hand it back. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Allie. I love hearing your story and all of her different pregnancies. At this point, I'm, oh my gosh, I love it. I'm going to go ahead and throw it to my friend, Julie, who is a mom of eight and a doula. And so Julie, go ahead and take it away and just let us know um, why you finally decided to fuel your body with Juice Plus. Yeah. Well, after listening to Casey, I realized like, this is why I can't come up with the child's name that I'm trying to say. It's because for seven pregnancies, I did not fuel my body well or take those omegas. So I'm still recovering and have mom brain for sure. But on number eight, on the eighth baby, I did find Juice Plus because of my son who had asthma and we started giving it to him. And then I started taking it and had just a great pregnancy, um, which really at age 42 shouldn't have been the case. I would say it was my best, almost my best pregnancy. Um, And that is because I had so much energy. And for the first pregnancy ever, I was not anemic. I had always struggled with anemia in my, um, just in my everyday, but for sure when I was pregnant and I was not anemic for the first time. And so felt so much better and had so much more energy. Um, So I just love what Juice Plus does for my body. And the more that I researched and learned about the product, the more I just understood that this truly is what a woman's body needs when she is growing another human being. And I have a passion for, re- for, for nutrition and have for a long time. But um, yeah, when I, hold on just a second, say that I'm on a call right now. And we're going to get a kid's room. This is child number, what number are you? Number five? Yeah, yep, number five. Okay. See you later. Good night. Um, I, where was I? I totally lost my train of thought. Sorry. Um, I'm just going to go with something else here. What I heard, um, I know Julie asked me to share this. I heard that Jeff Olson, who um, is an Olympic champion, a ski champion, he shared um, on a talk I was listening to that pregnancy in his, in his opinion is the best example of human performance that he has ever seen. And to hear an Olympian, Olympian champion say that made me just kind of stand up and take notice a little bit. To think what I have done eight times is something that he would consider the best example of human performance. 
And I think about athletes and I think about what he did and winning, a, you know, a gold medal. And I would never have thought that. But when you really stop to think about what we are doing, creating another life out of our bodies, it really is. It's incredible. And when we think about athletes and how they train, and we know that they are just diehard as far as what they put in their bodies, how they fuel their bodies, when they fuel it. I mean, they're so particular because they know that what they're doing during that training time is going to have a direct outcome on their performance. And it's the same for us when we are pregnant. What we do during this training time is going to have a direct outcome on our performance and on you know, this package that we're delivering. And our injuries when we're pregnant may look different than you know, your typical athletic injury, but they are injuries, right? This preterm labor that Julie talked about, preeclampsia, gestational diabetes, those are all injuries. And almost all of them are prevented by how we fuel our bodies. So I think that's where Juice Plus really comes in. It's something I can do every single day um, to help prevent those and to give me the best outcome. As a doula, it's all my clients, they take Juice Plus. And so far, so good. They've had great, great pregnancies. Oh, that's awesome. I love when she shares that about how, how much attention that the athletes pay. And I just don't think we, we give it that much credit like we should. So thank you so much, all of you, for sharing. Um, they're all wonderful and their stories are great. Um, at this point, we really ask you to do one of three things. You know, number one, maybe you got this on and you thought, okay, I really, really want to make sure that I'm eating well. Um, and I'm going to go to the store and buy as many fruits and vegetables as possible. And if that's where you're at, we totally support you. Um, we just want you to do what you can to help fuel your body and help fuel your, fuel your baby. Number two, maybe Juice Plus is making sense to you and you wanna learn more about that. If that's the case, please reach out to the person who invited you. Um, they'd love to share with you how simple and how affordable it is to add Juice Plus to your regimen. And then finally, maybe you thought of other people in your life who need to know this information. And if that's what you're thinking, please tell the person who invited you because we are on a mission to inspire healthy living around the world. And we are passionate about this time right now during pregnancy. So we can, you can share this recording, you can connect them with your friends, but please help us get this mission and this message out to other people. So at this point, I'm going to